Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to install N8N on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is N8N? Okay. So actually if you go to the official website which is n8n.io you can get in touch with N8N, which is, as you can see here, the world's most popular workflow automation platform for technical teams, okay? So actually, it's an automation uh, platform that helps you to actually execute uh, tasks. And it has also a lot of integrations, as you will see later, okay? So as you can see here, it has over 400 integrations, okay? And also it can be actually used. So if you go to the pricing tab, you can see the different plans that you can subscribe to. So there is actually a starter plan with the actually uh, $20 per month, okay? Which offer you actually two dot five kilo or thousand workflow executions with five active workflows okay but there is also a pro plan with fifty dollars a month but the beauty of this uh, automation platform is that also offers as you can see a community edition so a basic version of N8N is available on GitHub, okay? So if you click on this view docs here, you will be redirected to another page where you can see the different options for installing as a self-hosting N8N. So here you can see that you can install N8N using Node.js or npm package manager so there are a lot of uh, steps that you must actually execute in order to perform this installation but the most used and recommended way to install n8n in is the docker installation so also on the docs you can find a lot of instruction how to install it using docker and as I told you, this is the most used and recommended way. And it will be actually installed on Proxmox using Docker, as you will see soon. And the installation will be actually pretty easy to do using what we call helper scripts. And if you want to host it on a server platform like, for example, Amazon Web Services or Azure, you can also do that and the docs offers you the steps to install it in these different platforms. So here you can see you can install it on uh, self-hosted with Docker Compose in DigitalOcean, AWS of course, Azure or Google uh, Cloud Platform, okay? But as I told you here, it will be installed on our Proxmox server and using what we call helper scripts. So let's do that. So I already done a video about helper scripts, but of course you can take a look at my video to show you how to use them, but they are pretty easy to set up. So if you go to Google and type Proxmox helper script, the first page will give you actually a link to this uh, helper scripts which are the name suggests that are just a script that you will run in your Proxmox shell and voila, your server will be installed. So this is the home page of uh, Proxmox helper script. So you ju just simply go to the search and type N8N. And of course, you will get this page here. So as you can see, we'll be installing eight n8n as an lxc container and there is actually a summary so 
N8N is a workflow automation tool that enables users to automate various tasks and processes by connecting various data sources, systems, and services. Okay, so it provides a visual interface for building workflows, allowing users to easily define and automate complex sequences of actions such as data processing, conditional branching, and API calls. Okay, but as I told you, will be installed on Proxmox. So all we have to do is to copy this links. Okay, so pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So we just click on this copy button here. And the default settings for our LXC container will be actually two gigabytes of RAM and three gigabytes of storage. And here they are using two virtual CPUs. Okay, so we have copied our scripts. So let's return back to our Proxmox. And we will go actually to the shell and we just paste what we have copied before. So this is our script. So let's run it and see what we get. So here is the first uh, screen. This will create a new N8N LXC. So using your tab key you can switch between yes or no so of course we want to install it as an LXC container so let's hit yes and enter here we go and script hopefully will be actually running so use the default settings i will just answer yes and on the screen you can see the progression of the process so which storage pool you would like to use for your container template so me i have different storage pools so i will just choose the default one for me which is also called storage so all i have to do is to navigate to it and hit our space key and with the tab key i will choose ok et voila which storage pool would you like to use for the container so i will use the same here we go so you can see the process is pretty simple just a couple of uh, answering some basic questions and hopefully our LXC container will be installed and if you take a look at the left panel you can see that our container which has number 160 is actually created as you can see here on the left so now he is updating the container OS And now he is installing uh, actually the dependencies and finally installing NetN. So as you can see that requires actually patience because it takes some time in order to get all the tasks executed. And now the services are created and the container is customized and is cleaning up so hopefully now our uh, platform automation platform is reachable by going to the following URL so as you can see it's on port 5678 so let's copy this link here and paste it on another tab in order to see what we get so as you can see, NetN is starting up, so we have to wait a little bit. So finally, as you can see, we are on the starting page. So here you have to fill in your credentials, so I will just use mine 
so aminos ninatos and here I'll use my usual or actually uh, just passwords here so I will save that and now you can just customize your uh, init n if you want or you can just step the steps so this is your workflow actually so here you can create a workflow or actually use one from the template so here if you go to the templates you will be redirected to the n n website where you can find a lot of workflows so you can use one if you want or you can create your own okay so you can of course start from scratch if you want so that was just a brief video to show you how to set up uh, actually n n platform on your whole servers or Proxmox. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future contents. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comment below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.